Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can put your Dialogflow agent on your website by using Dialogflow Messenger. And we will not only put it on our website, but also make customizations. We will change the chat icon, we will change the title, and also change the color of the widget. Let's dive in. So now I am in Dialogflow and I'm using my pizza bot that I already created in my previous videos. So then if you go to integrations, you need to scroll down until you see Dialogflow Messenger. And then you need to click on enable. So then you get the code that you need to add to your website. And if you're not familiar with adding code to your website, I always recommend to hire a developer. But since I know a lot of you are using WordPress, I will show you how you can do it in WordPress. So we can copy this code and then we'll go to my website. I just created a simple development website and I will go to the back end of WordPress to my WordPress dashboard. And then if we go to plugins, we can click on add new and then you need to search for insert headers and footers. Then you can click on install now and click on activate. Then you need to go to settings and choose for the insert headers and footers. So under scripts and headers, we can just paste the script and then you can just click on save. And then if we go to the website and then Dialogflow shows automatically on your website, hi, how can I help you? And now that we have added Dialogflow Messenger to our website, we can also customize the widget. So automatically Dialogflow shows the name of the agent as the title, but we can also change this. So the chat title is currently PizzaBot, but for example, we can change it to Chatomize Chatbot. And this will not expand until the user will click on it. But if you want to expand the chat widget when the page is loaded, we can also set that up. So then you need to hit enter and say expand is true. And then if you scroll down, we click on save again. And then if you go back to your website, you will see that Dialogflow will automatically open when you load your page. But this will always trigger the welcome intent. If you want to trigger another intent, you need to go back to Dialogflow and set up a custom event. So we will go back to Dialogflow, click on close, then if we go to intents, I will choose the order pizza intent. And here we can add an event and I will call this order pizza and hit enter and then click on save. When the intent is saved, we can go to the code and instead of welcome, we will say order pizza. And then if we hit save and we go back to our website, the order pizza intent is automatically triggered. So that's how you can trigger a custom intent. Also, we can change the appearance of how the widget looks by changing the colors. So I already created a simple script for this. So I will just paste this here. I will also add this in the description so you can easily copy it. But what this will do is that the first line will change the color of the messages of the bot. The second line will change the color of the title bar at the top. This will change the background color of the complete chat. This will change the color of the font. And eventually this will change the background color of the user messages. So if we then click on save and reload, then it all has different colors. And then for example, if I say, hey, hi, how can I help you? And you also see that these messages have different colors. If you're not familiar with using these hex codes, you can just type in HTML color picker, and then you can just select some of these, and uh, you can just copy it and use it in your Dialogflow Messenger widget. You can change even more colors in your widget, but all the variables are shown in the documentation of Dialogflow and I will add a link to this documentation in the description. 
The last thing I want to show you is how we can trigger different intents on different pages. So what we will do is we will first remove this code from insert headers and footers and click on save. And now what we're going to do is change your WordPress theme. So again, if you're not familiar with adding or removing code, please hire a developer to do this. But this is how you do it. So you go to appearance, go to theme editor, and then you choose for functions.php. And I already created a simple function, this function, that will trigger on each page. And what it will do, it will check, the first line will check whether there the page is the contact page, and if it is the contact page, it will trigger some code, and otherwise it will trigger some other code. So we can just paste the code here, and on the contact page, it will trigger the order pizza intent, and otherwise it will trigger the welcome intent. So we will add welcome, and then we can just click on update file. Then if we go back, we will reload the page and here it needs to trigger the welcome intent and it does, it says hi, how can I help you? And now if we go to the contact page, it should trigger the order pizza intent and it also triggers the order pizza intent. So that's how you put Dialogflow on your website by using Dialogflow Messenger, how you can customize the widget and how you can trigger different intents per page. If you have any questions about how you can use Dialogflow Messenger, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.